Today we're going to go squid fishing down one of my local spots near my house. Going to meet up with one of the bros, uh, Wills from Oski Projects, and um, hopefully uh, knock a few cephalopods on the head. So uh, let's get after it. Right, made it down to Lee. It's a real popular, common fishing spot in North Auckland. Um, these are the two setups we'll be using today. Got a 2500 Shimano Sienna and a 2500 Pen Pursuit. Uh, one's an eggy setup, the other is my light soft baiting combo. As you can see, there's a soft plastic on that one, a squid jig on that one. Um, got my Yamashita leg bag here with some extra jigs, tripod, all that good stuff. But yeah, let's go for a walk and see what we can do. Okay, down on the rocks. There's a couple of kayak fishermen coming in there. But our uh, water's pretty clean, which I'm happy about. I was worried that this morning we had a little bit of a shower. I was just worried that that would make the water a bit murky because the squid don't tend to like fresh water sitting on top of the salt water. I don't know what it is about them, but um, no, they don't seem to like that. But no, we've got good clear water, so um, we're in with a shot. Not bad. We got low tide, so this is going to be a big lift. Oh yeah, he's nice. Come on. Yeah. All right. That's what we came for, baby. He's probably maybe 250, 300 grams. I don't know what that is in ounces, but um, yeah, nice squid. Target species, all right. Have a go at him, would you? Now, this is why they call them in Australia green eye calamari. Check out the colors in that. The electric blues down the side. Such an awesome animal. Oh, don't tell me I've lost my 
lead's come out of my jig. I was wondering if it stayed on the surface, it didn't sink. Damn, 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 damn. Oh well, nothing we can do about that. I'll try and glue another one in when we get home. This is why you bring spears. Okay, so I actually managed to fix it. This is one of my favorite jigs here. You can see the big chunks taken out of it by the squid, but that lead weight there is what came out, and that small pin there you can see on top of it. See, this one's all bent and mangled up. So this jig I actually found, so I mean, I care a lot less about it than, you know, my favorite jig. So I've swapped the weights over, and um, as long as I don't do anything stupid, we should be able to fish with this for the rest of the day. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention these are the Egio Live uh, Live Search jigs by Yamashita. Um, Yamashita make, as you can see, many different styles and um, patterns of lure, but um, Yamashita jigs seem to be the ones that have worked best for me in the past. I know there's a lot of other brands out there that make a lot of good jigs, but um, yeah, Yamis have worked for me so far, so that's what I'm sticking with. Was just messing around with the soft bait and a little kawaii on the, the minnow. These are just such awesome sport fish on light gear, but we'll um, get the hook out. Thank you, mate. Oh, he's really hooked. Awesome. Get him back in there. Well, we've been trying for two or three hours now. I've lost two. That's Will's in the background over there. He just lost one as well. But, uh, yeah, time for a bit of lunch, I think. So I might head up the road to um, Lee Eats. Um, they've got a fucking real good fish burger up there. Um, so, yeah, a bit of lunch, and then we'll come back and... Um, finish the rest of the incoming tide off in the afternoon. Awesome conditions down here though, couldn't ask for better conditions. No wind, good visibility. Lee Eats Fish Burger. Bloody good. If you haven't tried it, get into it. Okay, so it's the next day. Windy, rainy, horrible day. Uh, I didn't film an outro yesterday, so I thought I'd finish the video by um, showing you guys how I cook my squid, make some um, wraps. Okay, so we've got a smoking hot pan with some oil in it. I've cut the uh, hood up into bite-sized pieces, and the wings can be a little bit tougher, so I've just cut them a lot finer. So, you've got the scored diamond pieces going in face up that would be the skin side so you put that down and you'll see why we score it the way we do see how they roll up like that and um, expose all that diamond pattern on top so just like they do in a restaurant pretty fancy it took me a while to figure this out but it's definitely my favorite way of doing it
Okay, I'm also going to put some of this with it. You can get it from most Chinese grocers. Awesome for squid and other seafood. Alright, that's looking exactly how I want it to. Just put another squeeze of lemon in there. And then you can turn the heat off. And um, you definitely don't want to overcook the squid. It gets real tough real quick. Okay, so we've got our wraps ready to go. Got some coleslaw, some healthy shit on there. Bit of mayonnaise. Get our squid. Get that piece. See how that rolls up. Beautifully. Make one for the miso as well. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Squeeze of lemon. One for there as well. All right, and that's it, guys. Coleslaw and chili and garlic squid wraps. All right, guys. There you go. Taste test. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's good. Perfect. Not overcooked. Nice and tender. Beautiful. Oh well. That's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like, liked it, subscribe. If you thought it was shit, it's alright too. But, um, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys.